solved the following ODEs. So we got two differential equations here. In part A, we got dy over dx equals x square over y. Okay, let's separate the variables. Uh, basically, cross multiplying will give us in differential form. So y dy is x square dx. Okay, now we integrate both sides. So let's integrate y dy. So using power rule, y to the 1 means this should be y square over 2 equals x square. That would be x 2 plus 1, 3 over 3. So we got plus c, one constant, another constant. And we can combine that, just write one constant. Now let's solve for y. Uh, so 2, 3, let's multiply through by 6 so that the bottoms are gone. Or we can multiply through by 2. I mean, that, that works. So let's multiply through by 2. We are trying to solve for y, okay? Then 2 to cancel on the left side. So y squared equals multiply by 2. So 2x cubed over 3 plus 2c. Let's say c1 and we can write 2 times c1 is just c. And finally, y is take the square root of both sides 2x cubed over 3 plus constant and plus or minus okay that's final here same thing let's write in differential form separate the variables kind of cross multiplying here then we integrate both sides Okay, y squared means y3 over 3. Here is x means x squared over 2. And plus 1 constant from both sides. And I can write c1 or c2, it doesn't matter. Now to solve for y is a 3, so let's multiply by 3. Multiply through by 3. Then we get y cubed equals 3x squared over 2 plus 3c1. I can just write a c and then y equals is a cube cube root y is cube root of there is no plus minus just plus 3x square over 2 plus c okay that's final solve the following ordinary differential equations we got two questions here uh, let's separate the variables because we got a product of x and a function of y in the right side. So e to the y, divide both sides by e to the negative y. Okay, and this 1 over, it will be in the left, 1 over e to the negative y, which is same as e to the positive y. So e to the positive y, and we're going to move dx to the other side. And dy in the left is equal to x is already in the right side okay we separated the variables here next we want to integrate both sides okay let me use this one then we get here ey with respect to y just ey antiderivative and this is x raised to 1 so antiderivative is x 1 plus 1 2 over 2 we got two constants, but just write one. It's a collective constant. Now we can solve for y, okay? And take ln of both sides. ln of e y is just y. ln of everything. Half x squared plus c, final. Same thing here, but we need to write this as a product. And we know that when we have x a minus b, that is same as x raised to a over x raised to b. Or we can write x raised to a times x raised to negative b. And that x raised to negative b uh, put on the bottom, x raised to b. So let me put that way. So this one is dy over dx equals e raised to x over e raised to y. Okay, now we can separate the variables.
EY and move this over. So EY, DY kind of cross multiplying, okay. Now we integrate both sides. EY is simply EY, EX is simply EX plus C and on another constant we write just one for both. Now take ln of both sides then y equals ln of the x plus c ln of everything okay do not try to simplify final solve the following ODEs so dy over dx equals sine square x same thing cosine square 2x we know that antiderivative of sine square there is no direct formula so we need to reduce the power and the power reducing formula are coming from the double angle and we know that cosine square theta is one half one plus cosine two theta okay the power square will be gone but theta becomes now here one plus cosine two theta and if we have sine square theta simply one half one minus cosine 2 theta so we're going to apply these two formulas here in both cases so here i mean we just move dx to the other side so dy is sine square x dx now we need to integrate but there is no direct formula for sine square then we use this Okay, so and we integrate at the same time. So antiderivative of dy is antiderivative of sine square, which is one half one minus cosine of double. We got x here, so two x and dx. This is one dy, just y. One half times two terms, so one half can be pulled to the front. Now antiderivative of one with respect to x, so just x minus antiderivative of cosine is just sine, sine 2x. Oh, but there is 2, that means we need to divide by 2. Okay, and we get plus c. Oh, y equals that, done. Here, theta, cosine square theta is this, but theta is like 2x, okay? So same thing dy equals move this over so cosine is square 2x dx now let's integrate both sides so dy is cosine square let's say theta equals 2x and using this formula now one half one plus cosine of double angle two times 2x is a 4x dx Okay, now let's integrate and done. So here 1 dy means y equals 1 half can be pulled to the front. Antiderivative of 1 is x plus antiderivative of cosine is again sine 4x divided by 4 plus c final.